Hi y'all, my name's Taylor and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about mystery thrillers. These are a few of my favorites that I highly recommend and I'm so excited to talk about them. So the first one is The Silent Patient. I love the plot twist in this. So I've heard that some people didn't really like the book. I will say I listened to it on audiobook and I think that really helped with like the two narrators that where you could like tell them apart when they had their different chapters. So it's about this woman who has murdered her husband. And after she murders him, she doesn't say a word like to anyone, nothing. And so then this psychologist comes in and he's like, oh, well, I can fix her. I can find out what's wrong. And it's just kind of like their sessions back and forth, but uh, that plot twist. I didn't see it coming. I loved it. I highly recommend this. I highly recommend the audiobook. Super love the audiobook. Oddly, I think majority of these books I listen to on audiobook. I think I'm becoming like an audiobook reader. That's a story for a different day. Next book, The Guest List. This was a little bit out of the box for me. It was so dramatic. So much drama. So there's like, you get almost every character's perspective. And it's all about they're going to this destination wedding. And they all hate someone for some reason or another. Granted, a lot of them are very valid points. I get it. But it just like, I don't know. The drama was like crazy. I will say what super sucked me in is you don't know who died. Like from the beginning, you know someone dies, but you don't know who. And it kind of, the timeline bounces back and forth, like the wedding and then before the wedding, when all the guests are arriving to the island. I thought it was great. I like enjoyed it, but it was, it was a little different. I do understand how people say like, they're so bored with it. They don't really like the characters. Totally get that. But then you have like all of these like little aha moments where like the plot comes together and it's like, mm. I enjoyed it. Again, I listened to the audiobook, loved it, highly recommend it. Okay, so the next two are a little bit different. Um, so we have Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Y'all, this book creeped me out. Like, I am not... Well, first off, I don't like scary stories and stuff. And so the idea of the haunted house, like, really threw me. But, okay, so the main character grew up in this haunted house. And her parents wrote this book about all the hauntings and things that happened at the house. And it finally got to a point where they had to move and leave. And so she's grown up under the shadow of, like, growing up in this haunted house. But she doesn't believe any of it. She doesn't remember any of it. She thinks it's all a hoax. And so when her father dies, she finds out that he never sold the house. And so she's now a house flipper and she goes back. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to fix it up and I'm going to sell it and I'm just going to get rid of it. And so she goes back and she starts uncovering all these things. And it's really neat because like kind of in front of every chapter, you get a chapter of the book that the father wrote. So you kind of get like the haunting, like you get to read the book he wrote. And then along with the timeline of like, her redoing the house and everything. There was a part in this book where I like threw it down and screamed it. Oh my God, I'm just getting chills just thinking about it. So overall the mystery, like, I, I mean, I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting. It keeps you hooked. Like, I don't think it's like the greatest mystery alive, but like his writing like really hooks you and like you wanna know what's happening next. But I, I feel like since I had like a physical reaction to this book, it deserves some love. Next up is The Sundown Motel. So I actually, I've heard really good things about this author, but this is the first one I picked up. And you kind of get a little bit of a dual timeline. Or, so the main character's aunt went missing like years and years and years ago. I don't think she ever actually met her, but it was kind of like a dark cloud over her life. And so she goes back to the place where her aunt went missing, the Sundown Motel, and gets a job there. And it's just kind of like, you know, it's the age of true crime. And so she's like, 
kind of investigating, figuring out what's been wrong. And this had a lot more paranormal aspects to it. I'm not sure. I kind of expected more true crime, but it also has like a dabble of paranormal in it. And again, it's just like it grips you and you just keep reading to figure out like what happened and how does this tie together? And do they ever figure it out what happened to her aunt? This author has a new book coming out. Um, the Book of Cold Cases. I think it's another kind of like true crime dabble. I know there's the, I think it's like the Broken Girls that this author wrote. I haven't read it. I've heard good things about it, but I've heard myth things about it. So I've never picked it up. But I am definitely picking up the new book by this author. Okay, so those were kind of like my standalones. Next up are my series. Classic, the In-Death series by J.D. Robb. This one's really fun because it's kind of like futuristic. It's got like futuristic aspects. I, I don't remember how far in the future it is, but it's got futuristic aspects. And it's really fun. I know there's like a romance in it, but... I feel like the crimes and the mysteries are good. She's good at kind of like building it up. I I enjoy these. It's a good detective mystery if you're interested. Next up, Karen Slaughter. Gotta love her. So this is the Will Trent series, Trick Pitch. I listened to this on audio. And again, I had a physical reaction. That plot twist hits and I was just like, I had to pause the audiobook and like digest what had happened. I just, brain, shut off, like, wait, what? Oh, it's so good. I don't even want to, like, read the synopsis because I'm so afraid I'd give something away. It's so good. I highly recommend it. I will say, I think I'm, like, six or seven books deep in the Will Trent series, and I really like him, and I like the characters, but they get dark. They get dark and pretty gruesome. So, you know... Take that into account. I love them. I enjoy the audiobooks, but like dark crime. Okay, so this is one that is really interesting that I'm recommending because it is not the first book in the series. Find Her by Lisa Gardner. So I adore Lisa Gardner. I love her Dee Dee Warren series. This is. I don't know what book number it is, but it's in the middle of the series, but it's complicated. So this book is where Flora Dade is introduced and she is in all of the books afterwards. She kind of becomes like a, not a partner, but a consultant in Dee Dee Warren's cases. I love Dee Dee Warren, but if you go back to the beginning of this series, of the Dee Dee Warren series, the first two books are actually about... Bobby, which is great. I enjoyed them. Love the mystery. And then kind of like Dee Dee takes over and she becomes the main character and all the cases are after, are hers afterwards. Um, Bobby shows up every now and then. It's kind of like a cameo. Lisa also has another series, Quincy and Rain series. Again, love them. Great series. Dee Dee's a smidge bit better, but um, find her starts with is where Flora Dane comes in, and it's a great starting point. <clears throat> I have my Lisa Gardner shelves here because that's how much I love her. So, yeah, hers. I feel like there's a lot of again, like it's a good mystery, you don't always know who did it. Like, there's enough red herrings to be unsure, but not so many that it's like everyone could have done it. Like it's, it's the perfect amount to where like you, you want to know, like you just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure this out. It's like you get sucked into the writing. Love these. Okay. So the last one is, I feel a little like unsure of recommending it because yes, it's a mystery and yes, I love it. And yes, I highly recommend it. So it's a curious beginning by Deanna Rayborn. It is actually like historical setting, but these are so great. I adore this series. So Veronica is in the Victorian era. And so she's expected to be, you know, dainty and dumb, but she's not. She was raised by two very capable women. 
and she is now a I forget the technical name. She's a butterfly scientist. So she's a smart, capable woman. She goes on excursions. She travels the world. She's not prude. She's smart in all ways. Um, and then someone kind of close to her dies and they have to find out who killed him. And then she gets a partner, Stoker. So this is like, this is not a romance. Do not think this is a romance. Yes, they form a relationship, but they don't kiss until like book three. It's up. So I mean like, you know, in game, but it takes a long time to get there. The mysteries are great. You don't really know who did it. There's a lot of great build up. I love how competent Veronica is. Like I just love seeing a strong, smart woman in this time period. It's lovely. Highly recommend it. So yeah, those are some of my favorite kind of like mystery thrillers. Tell me what you think. What are your favorites? I love, I tend to go through like a crime detective thriller. So give me your recommendations. I would love to hear them. And let's chat in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.